China women's volleyball team is on a losing streak, and the coach thinks that he knows why. The athletes have been restricted to a vegetarian diet for the last few weeks out of fears that they will ingest a steroid called clenbuterol. It's a substance that used to breed leaner animals, but also considered a performance-enhancing drug by the International Olympic Committee. So what about chemicals and ingredients in your meat at home? Can it have serious health effects? We invited Mark McDonald, author of the book Body Confidence, to join us in studio to talk about this. So, Mark, good morning to you. Thanks, Randy. Nice. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about this. I mean, is the coach right? Could it have something to do with the meat? Or well, the lack of meat, I should say? <laughs> well, I think, so, so protein's important, especially for athletes, because it has nitrogen, which affects the quality of your tissue. So if you take meat out of an athlete's diet, then that could affect their overall performance and energy level. Now, is that why they lost? I, I wouldn't say it, that, but it is a piece to the equation. Nutrition's important. But, but when you hear so much about plant-based diet and, and green juices and the dark greens in your life, isn't it supposed to, you know, give you better function and, and more energy, and, but you're saying with the meat, it's still just not, without the meat, it's just not enough? Well, there's, there's three main nutrients that you need from a point of um, calorie, carbohydrates, protein, and fat. So when you take protein out, you're not getting enough. Then you have carbs and you have fat, but it's still, you're not getting the nitrogen you need. So after they have a hard workout, they don't have the necessary nutrients to recover. That's oh. why protein's so important. You need all three. But you don't need meat protein, right? You can get you could get it from a, protein. You totally can get plant-based. They should based. eat a salad. They, well, <laughs> they could do like a soy protein or a quinoa or uh -huh. some type of complete protein. But most likely, they might have just cut all their protein out. And who knows if there was a balance. Right. So you have someone who's eating a particular way, and then you eliminate something. It's a shock to the system, especially an athlete. Right. So, so what about in the U.S.? I mean, is this something, this clenbuterol, is this something that we should be concerned about? I, I don't think so. Not in the U.S. I think, you know, Alberto Contador just lost his 2010 Tour de France title because during the race he had um, steak from Spain that he said was tainted with clenbuterol and made him positive on the drug test. Now, do we know that as a fact? We don't know. But in other countries, they do use clenbuterol to get the animals leaner mm -hmm. and more muscular. In the U.S., I wouldn't think that. We've never had a U.S. athlete have to worry about taking in meat for clenbuterol. What should we look for then when buying meat? Is there anything we should be on the lookout for? I think the biggest thing is nitrates, that when you look at the preservatives in meat, it uh, makes your body, it affects your digestive system, it makes you hold fluid. I'd also look at hormones. I mean, hormones in meat isn't great for you, um, but in moderation, I mean, it's not, we have, to, we have to look at if you're going to have organic or if you're going to have hormone free, you have to make sure that it works within your budget. Can, that's what I was going to say, because it can be more expensive. You know, we hear so much about Eat Organic, but a lot of folks just can't. I, I agree. And Is that, there an alternative? Yeah, to me, it's, it's being educated about shopping in the right places. The warehouse stores are fantastic. There's some good other stores, like a Trader Joe's, where you can get good quality with not a lot of nitrates that work within your budget. You just have to be more creative, and you can get high-quality protein at a good rate.